What's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today I want to talk about a very special fish. Wonderful fish. Beautiful fish. I know I keep saying this every time, but this time you guys got to check this out. The Threadfin Rainbow Fish. How elegant it is. How beautiful it is. Where they're from. What they're about. So let me tell you all about it and let's get right into it right now. The Threadfin Rainbow Fish is a wonderful community fish that is both beautiful and peaceful. The Threadfin Rainbow gets his name from the graceful, elegant, flowing fins. Like a peacock, when the male shows off his fins, it is an impressive sight to see. What makes this fish unique is the male's flamboyant appearance when he displays his plumage. The elegant fin display of the Threadfin Rainbow Fish is what sets this fish apart from other fish. The beautiful fins casually flow through the water until two males show off their fins when they compete with other males and to attract the female's attentions when they are courting the females. The male display their fins proudly like flags as their bodies shimmer as they swim. Similar to other rainbows, the thread fin has two dorsal top fins, but the thread fin or feather fin rainbow is one of the few rainbows where the males have long flowing fins. The top and bottom anal fins have huge black threads while the caudal or tail fins have red or other vibrant colored threads. Rainbow fish in general have large eyes, black or silver band that runs through the middle of their bodies, forked mouths, and two dorsal fins. While the body of the male threadfin rainbow fish is mostly silver, the female is much more plain but still possesses a lovely hue coloration. The male have red, orange, and blue accents, while the females have a slight green hue. A truly dazzling sight is to see a school of male and female threadfin rainbow fish flutter around together in sync as if they are dancing with each other. It's easy to determine gender of this rainbow. The females are smaller and lack the extravagant fins and are much less colorful. The body of the threadfin rainbow fish is mainly silver or gray with the color bands running down its back and belly, as well as a variety of other colors all over its body. The thread fin can really thrive when the water conditions and the environment is ideal. In a good environment, you will be able to fully appreciate the beauty of the vibrant hues and sparkling scales. This fish can make a fabulous addition to any tank, although there are a few quirks that you should be aware of. The main thing to consider is that the fish has a very small mouth and may have issues feeding. This being said, if their special requirements are provided, almost anyone can keep threadfin rainbow fish. So let's talk about what uh, threadfin rainbow fish eat. Because they have the tiny mouths, they have some special dietary needs that need to be met to ensure that the fish gets enough food to thrive. Uh, the threadfin Rainbow fish is an omnivore and feeds on vegetation like algae and diatoms as well as small insects. So small foods like live or frozen mosquito larvae, baby brine shrimp, copepods, daphne and microworms, and grindle are all suitable treats for your threadfin rainbow fish. Finely crushed flakes should comprise a decent portion of the fish's meals. The threadfin rainbow is fairly small, growing to around 2 inches at maturity, uh, but this doesn't include the threadfin's long tail. The threadfin can live up to 5 years with an average lifespan of around 3 to 5 years in a good environment. The threadfin rainbow fish is a peaceful schooling fish, so I would recommend at least 6. Uh, I would go with 2 males and 4 females, or close to that. It's recommended that there's at least two to one ratio of, of females to males. In groups, the threadfin rainbow fish feels safe in, and will show off its full beauty when they feel secure in a school. So it's important to have a school. Since they have long flowing fins, they should only be kept in a tank without fin nippers. They breed best in tanks of their own species. The male courts the female by posing in front of her repeatedly, raising then lowering his beautiful fins. Let's talk about a couple thing, uh, fish you can keep in with thread fins. Uh, they thrive in a tank with its own species. They can also do well in a tank with other peaceful fish that do not nip on fins. Obviously, this is a major concern to the long, uh, due to the long, delicate fins of this rainbow fish that can be easily damaged. 
To minimize the risk of fin nipping, keep the threadfin rainbow fish with other thread fins or other fish that are peaceful and social that won't intimidate or bother these delicate fish. Some companions that are known to get along successfully are platys, mollies, some tetras, guppies, celestial pearl danios, dwarf rasboras, and, and a bunch of other small fish. Uh, cherry shrimp, amano shrimp, bamboo shrimp, and other large species of shrimp can also be a sound choice. When it comes to creating a community for the threadfin rainbow fish, your options should include gentle fish and not aggressive fish like oscars, African cichlids, or other aggressive fish. So the threadfin rainbow fish is native to freshwater swamps and thick planted areas of northern Australia and New Guinea. The fish inhabits freshwater marshes and slow moving rivers. They like areas where there is heavy vegetation. Lily pads appear to be a favorite plant of the threadfin rainbow fish since they are often found swimming around these floating plants. Schools are also found around driftwood as well. I would recommend threadfin rainbow fish live in a tank of at least 20 gallons for a school of six or so. I would suggest getting a bigger tank if you have more, more fish. Larger schools require bigger tanks. It is a very active fish, which requires plenty of room to swim around. Uh, the water temperature generally uh, should be around the 70s, the mid 70s to low to mid 80s. Threadfin rainbow fish prefer uh, soft to moderately hard water with a pH between 6 and 7. But a stable environment is what I would recommend instead of trying to chase water parameters. The threadfin rainbow fish does not require strong current in the tank since they are used to shallow and slow moving waters. They do however need plenty of oxygen so I would recommend using air stones in your tank. This peaceful rainbow fish is a schooling fish that does best in a well-planted aquarium. Rainbows appreciate a gravel or sand substrate and may intensify their colors against a dark colored gravel. There are certain things to consider uh, to make them happy. A well-planted tank with open swimming spaces at the front is an ideal environment. Some of the fish's favorite plants include hornwort, water wisteria, and java moss. The threadfin rainbow fish will hide in the plants when it is sleeping or when it needs a hiding place. The threadfin rainbow fish is also known as a jumper and has been known to hop out of the tank, so I would recommend a lid on your fish tank. You can also provide a gap of space at the top of the tank and you may be able to witness the sight of the leaping threadfin rainbow fish. As far as breeding, the threadfin rainbow fish is not the easiest fish to breed. Water changes at a slightly cooler temperature may induce them to spawn. Use, use a spawning mop or clumps of moss as the eggs will need to be removed once they are laid so the parents don't eat them. The fry will be very small. Feed with infusoria until they have grown slightly and then feed with newly hatched brine shrimp, according to the experts. I have not done this myself. Sex, sexing is easy by examining the fins. Males have larger, more flamboyant finish than females. Males also have more intense colors. When reproduction takes place, eggs are scattered uh, among the leaves of submerged vegetation and hatch after seven to 10 days. So to wrap it all up, with the proper care, the threadfin rainbow fish can be a great addition to a peaceful community tank or a centerpiece in a tank by themselves in a big school. The spectacular display of the finnage is, is a amazing sight to see and the most alluring feature of the threadfin rainbow fish. It's important to note that this fish requires special care so it can thrive. When these special needs are met, I would highly recommend keeping the threadfin rainbow fish. There you have it guys, the threadfin rainbow fish. I hope you guys love them as much as I do. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you guys plan on or have had uh, the threadfins. Let me know if they're as beautiful as I originally said that they uh, said that they were. Uh, how how cool their uh, patterns are and how their uh, personalities are. So leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, get on the mailing list for special tips and tricks and the fascinating fish facts. Go to tropicalfishguide.com slash sign up to sign up for the mailing list. Go to fishatees.net to check out the merchandise. And thank you so much as always. Really appreciate you guys for watching. 
Happy fish keeping. Peace out.